this is an indication that they have been working hard, that they have been working well together. The newly released scores from the New Hampshire Assessment System standardized test show students are beginning to recover from the learning loss brought on by COVID-19. We have invested uh, much of the COVID you know, relief funds that we've received in order to recover our learning for our students. Education Commissioner Frank Edelblue says these scores are proof the investment is paying off. The data shows marks in math and English improved or stayed static last year for nearly all grade levels. The fact that we are bucking the trend is a reflection of, you know, the hard work really of our school leaders, of our teachers, of our parents, and really of our students. It's been a long road back from school shutdowns and the challenges of remote learning. Allison Neal, education consultant for New England Tutors, says not all the learning lost was in academic skills like grammar and math. Someone may need some reading and writing support, but there's a whole host of executive skills that they're deficient in. Um, so there's some emotional control challenges, there's working memory challenges, organizational challenges. While scores are improving, most grade levels are not entirely back to where they were pre-COVID. Commissioner Edelblue acknowledges there's still a lot of work left to be done. We should be encouraged but we should not take our foot off of the gas pedal. We still have much work to do to continue to make sure that our students achieve to what we aspire for them. The commissioner also noted that students are dealing with more mental health issues like anxiety in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. He said that's another area that needs more attention heading into this fall semester. Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.